The hype train for these movies needs to crash and burn. In order for this all to work, you need to completely let me in. Welcome to Next of Ken, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 overrated movies that secretly suck. You know what I don't understand? Hmm. Why if he's supposed to be like this super advanced robot, does he transform back into this piece of crap? Come here. Oh, see, no, get it, no, that doesn't work. See? Move it, you moron! Right, now. See? Fantastic. Now you pissed him off. That car is sensitive. Whether it's bad plotting, style over substance, or cliched storytelling, the films picked for this list are movies that have simply not earned their reputation or their acclaim. Oh my god. I will find the court that makes you run and I will cut it. What did he say? He said, try harder. Number 10, The Blair Witch Project. Released in 1999, this mockumentary-style horror film basically created the found footage genre, which means you can blame this movie's producers for all the cheaply made bad horror movies you've been watching lately. The Blair Witch Project follows three student filmmakers who disappear in the woods in 1994 while researching the legend of the Blair Witch. Critics herald this movie as brilliant, but in reality, this movie was so fucking boring and had zero payoff at all. What they were seeing was the found footage of three student filmmakers. What I was seeing was the inside of my eyelids. Number 9, Gravity. Yes, the CGI in this film is amazing, but that's it. Gravity has a poorly written, obvious script with underdeveloped characters and so much symbolism they should have called it Sandra Bullock's birth video to the sequel. It's a fucking movie about a woman's symbolic rebirth, except it's in space. Where was Jason when you need him to liven shit up? No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. Number 8, The Dark Knight Rises. I'm gonna get hate for this, I know it, but The Dark Knight Rises is very overrated. Just breathe and say it with me. The Dark Knight Rises is overrated. The movie is riddled with plot inconsistencies. For instance, how the hell did Batman escape the bomb in under a second when it was supposedly large enough in scale to destroy all of Gotham? Also, how did Bruce manage to end up at the same cafe on the same day at the same time as Alfred? This movie was horribly disappointing and you fucking know it. I'll go for D, London. Computer G, D, lock your jar. Jamal Malik, you're absolutely right! Number seven, Slumdog Millionaire. This movie was called a triumph of filmmaking. Wait. Sorry, that's the wrong footage. That's some other movie with an Indian male lead. There we go. Slumdog Millionaire was nominated for 10 Oscars and 4 Golden Globes. Like, what the fuck? This movie was about as interesting and special as a wet carrot. The only good thing about it was that it fucking ended. The plot was preposterous and cliche ridden. I've seen better shit come out of my ass. You are on your own, Jamal. <sighs> Hello? Hello, Jamal. I'm guessing that isn't your brother. <laughs> Number six, Crash. Stop the fucking thing! Just say, just stop talking! It's <sighs> quite a mouth you have. Of course you know that. Fuck you. That's what this is all about, isn't it? 
You thought you saw a white woman blowing a black man that just drove you little cracker ass crazy. We just shut your fucking mouth. Yet another movie that for some reason won Best Picture at the Academy Awards, which goes to show you that the Academy Awards are run by a bunch of monkeys with hand grenades. Crash is a modern-esque film depicting the very racist world we still live in. You fucks, read the news. We already know the world still sucks. We don't need this BS film with Brendan Fraser to tell us that. There was nothing remarkable about this film, but if it had a dick, everyone would suck it. This is my very good friend, Mr. Gump. Here, can you say hi to him? Hello, Mr. Gump. Hello. Oh, can I go watch TV now? Yes, you can. Just keep it low. Number five, Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. Well, if you've seen it, this movie's more like a box of dicks, and you just got fucked by every one of them. As much as I like Tom Hanks, I have to disagree with everyone in the world about this movie. The film is flat, dull, and melodramatic, and Tom Hanks' performance was awkward, cheesy, and grumpy, like the title suggests. Get over it. It's a bad movie, okay? Stay home and eat all the freaking chips, Kip. The point, don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Besides, we both know I'm training to become a cage fighter. Since when, Kip? You have the worst reflexes of all time. Try and hit me, Napoleon. What? I said, come down here and see what happens if you try to hit me. Number four, Napoleon Dynamite. What in the actual fuck is with this movie? Everyone loved it, and I have no idea why. Napoleon Dynamite lacked any coherent plot and was led by the creepiest actor I've ever seen since I watched that pirate porno. You know which one I'm talking about. I mean, look at him. The obscene humor and oddball jokes, the hairstyle, the self-proclamation of being an artist when his art clearly sucks, wearing snow boots in the spring. This bitch is the reason why hipsters were invented. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I'm coming. Bella, I don't want you to come. Number three, Twilight. Where do I even fucking begin? Basically, if you're unfamiliar, it stars Kristen Stewart, who falls in love with a vampire, despite the fact that Shovelface said he's killed people and would happily do it again. She's like, oh, I trust you. You won't hurt me. Bitch, I'd kill you for a Diet Coke. This movie features some of the best cardboard acting I've ever seen, and the most pedestrian plot ever written, and yet it has made over a billion dollars. Think about that. A billion dollars. I hope you bitches are happy about this. Stop making stupid people rich. I wrote you 365 letters. I wrote you every day for a year. You wrote me? Yes. It wasn't over. It still isn't over. Number two, The Notebook. If you already know this is going to make you angry, stop watching this right now. This movie is sappy and stupid, and worst of all, you can't admit it. These characters have the most unhealthy relationship I've ever seen, and you already know she ends up with Ryan Gosling before the movie ends. I mean, for fuck's sake, he's Ryan goddamn Gosling. Regina George would have to be a fucking moron not to go for him. The movie also has like five endings, and Allie's dad has that evil mustache, and that's just the beginning of my complaints. This love story is so generic, but inexplicably popular. It's like the Olive Garden of romance movies. Number one, Avatar. Undoubtedly, yes, Avatar is the most overrated piece of garbage to ever come out of James Cameron's asshole. It's basically Ferngully and Pocahontas rolled into one film. It's like that sushi burrito. Two great ideas mixed together does not always guarantee a hit, and this movie proves it. The special effects are overdone, the plot is unoriginal, and the acting is so nauseating I felt like I just ate a fucking sushi burrito. Excuse me, I have to take a shit now. Did you agree with our list? Comment below about which beloved movie you think secretly sucks.